All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Viewer discretion is advised. Another night in the street, another night in this hair. I've been kicking the chip and the cops is me in jail. Got my fingers in ink, they got my head on the lights. Dear Lord, please get me out of this jail tonight. Give me out, just give me out. I work for the Mecklenburg County Sheriff's Office, uh, Jail Central. It's kind of been a little bit of give and take. The job itself, uh, it can be very difficult at times, but it's all about the mental attitude and approach that you take uh, performing this job. But the greatest thing about the job is you're able to serve the citizens of Mecklenburg County. I have a call over on jail reception. Uh, we got an arrestee refusing to dress out at this time. We need to go check it out and see what's going on back here. Step back. You gonna step back? Are right, you gonna step back? Okay. All right. say that. But when I'm in line... No, that ain't what I asked you. That ain't what I asked you. Did you not just tell me that statement? Tell you what. That, that when the guy asked you to stop talking... I was... Wait, wait. When Deputy Smith asked you to stop talking, you turned back around and said to Deputy Smith... No, he didn't say stop that, talking. He didn't say stop talking. He said stop talking to me. I stopped speaking to him, and I said I'm going to speak to the inmates. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just kicking the door. Oh, he's kicking the door. Man, how? Man, now, now, now it's, I'm kicking the door, man. Now it's I'm kicking the door. Now it's I'm kicking the door, man. Now it's I'm kicking the door, man. Kick, I'm asking you, did you kick the door early? Man. Did you kick the door early? Did I ask you, could I speak to you earlier when you sat right there? I haven't been up here all I night. Had, okay, then. I, I haven't, 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 haven't kicked the door. I haven't. Okay, guess what? You're not trying. You didn't offer a, a bit of assistance yet. You still we haven't fixed this handcuff. We ain't negotiating. It's not a negotiation. I'm telling you, I'm hurting. And yes, I'm an inmate. Are you going to do your job and protect when, me? When, and you're not doing when, that when because you're asking me questions and not doing Look, I'm bleeding. And he's still on hand. Come on. Close gate. That's all right. I'll be up here for a second. I'll be up here for a second. I had a disturbance back in dress out. He wouldn't cooperate in dress out. We had to bring him out. He had a scuffle back there with some of the officers back in dress out. At that point, we took him out of dress out, brought him around, placed him in a cell, hoping he would cool down. Ah, uh, that's what I want. All right, what we're going to do, what we're going to do, I'm going to take him downstairs, and I'm going to deal with him downstairs. No, you ain't got to do that. Open the gate. Open the, open, open the door. 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 All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a couple of commands. I'm gonna give you a couple of commands. I said, I said, man, let me offer the help, man. Step out of your cell. You ain't offer the help me at all, man. All right, now I want you to walk down here, turn left. Man, you ain't walk offer. and turn left. Man, you ain't offer the help me, man. I will not ask you again, sir. You ain't offer the help me none. Walk and turn left. Man. I'm not gonna ask you again. You, man, you turn ain't asking me walk. nothing. I'm doing what you want me to do, turn man. Around. I'm I doing drop. what you want me to do, I man. Do what? Yeah. I'm tired of handling you now. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, man? Man, now you punching me. Now you just punching me. Man, I ice fish you. I ice fish on you. Let go of my grades, man. Give me the chair. Give me the chair. Give me the chair. Give me the chair. Open the gate back. Put him in the chair. Put him in the chair. Let's go. Let's go. You ain't never choked me at all, man. For real. Yeah, put your pants on me, man. Yeah. 
Oh, we bad? Matter of fact, man. start strapping him in. Put it in there. Man. Put it in there. Man. Man. Man, what you strapping up so tight for? Huh? Man, they sitting there beat, they beat your ass. They got that milk. What kind of is this, man? man. Okay, put him in, put him in cell. Type up right quick. Right. I, I can do that. Right now, the gentleman that's in uh, 239, we had a problem with him in dress out, not wanting to follow uh, the deputy's instruction in dress out. At that point, um, they had a use of force situation, and we brought him back downstairs to keep him from arousing other inmates upstairs. We put him in the cell. He started banging on the cell. At that point, we had to actually put him in a restraint chair for his own safety and protection at that point. Last year in the Multnomah County Jail, we booked in between 35,000 to 40,000 people. And within that population, you're going to have people that are angry. They don't want to be here. You're going to have mentally ill people. But for the most part, you're going to have people that are compliant. What officers here have to do is we have to use our knowledge, skills, and ability to assess those people and to take it whatever direction they want to take it. Nine times out of 10, it's peaceful, and they'll get through the process without any interruptions. Hi. Okay. Anything sharp or dangerous on you? Ah. Uh, no knives, no. needles. Uh, no. Uh, why should I need them? I don't know. I don't know who you are, where you come from, so that's why I'm asking. Ah. So, uh, what's he here for? What's going $10, on? Ten thousand dollars bail on a on a disorderly conduct. So you made some sort of judge angry. Ten thousand dollars. You know what your warrant's for? You have no idea. Now, um, wh what did I do? Now, okay, now. let's go get your shoes. Uh, and that's what did I do? We'll tell you as soon as you get your shoes up here, okay? Okay. All right, sounds what like a I deal. Do? What did I do? Let's get your shoes up here, and we'll let you know, okay? What did sir, I do? Sir, sir. Hey. Okay, there we go. What did I do? And your pants. What did I do? Sir. We discussed this. You just have a warrant for your arrest. That's it. What's the charge? Okay. Disorderly conduct. Okay, hands up on the counter. Yes, son of a Stand back. You liar. Oh, a disturbing piece. Hey, be nice. You want some respect, right? Liar. All right, so you're just going to be signing for your money and your property? Sign Thanks. here. That's fine. You don't have to sign no. for it. We need fingerprints, though. Yes, sir, don't do that. Hey, come on. Let's go this way. I'm going to oh. go in a timeout room over here, okay? You're a liar. Just going to go over here, and you're going to sober up. Yep. Okay? As soon as you're ready, we'll get you out yep. so you can get out of jail. Okay. So how was he out there when you uh, uh, approached him? Up and down. Really, really mellow, super nice. And then he would amp up, swearing. Okay. He's trying to start a fight. Yeah, pretty much like in nice here. Fight. Just like you witnessed. Okay. Obviously, he's extremely intoxicated. Don't know if he has some mental health issues, but, um, you know, put him in there for a little while and let him cool off. <laughs> you don't know another one? No, but still. We're going to get to know them. Wow. That's pretty neat. Hello. Hi. How you doing? My girlfriend has accepted a proposal for me today, so I'm pretty happy. <laughs> so you proposed to your girlfriend today? She accepted, you said? yes. Really? We've been together a couple of years. <laughs> well, congratulations. Well, it's too bad you're here. What, what brings you here? I was drinking and I'm on probation. The worst part of it all is that she's going to be at home tonight and she's moving to her own place and she don't even have a phone. <laughs> yeah, that's terrible. So, how'd you guys make contact tonight? He was walking down the street hitchhiking. Yes, sir, I was. I was walking home. I was late for dinner, so I started hitchhiking. I'm from Boring, mainly, so you can hitchhike out there. And obviously, he's pretty high on meth. Uh, and drinking all day. Um, admitted he was drinking. Sir. And then I contacted his PO, and they got a detainer on him. So, I'm kind of curious, how did you uh, propose to your girlfriend? Um, actually, my dad took us out to Popeye's Chicken, and our pit bulls were riding in the car with us on the way home. 
And I sit and ring on people's in. I said, hey, baby, you want to get married? <laughs> so my next question would be, were you high on meth when you did propose, or were you sober, or what? Um, that, that had nothing to do with my proposal, sir. No, I'm just curious. I mean, yeah, she's, she's a great woman. She's a gymnastics teacher. I have a job. Good. Um, they, they, um, actually, I, I asked these officers if I could do some help for them. Sergeant of Fairview said that you know what I told him was true. Then I'm more likely to be getting released tonight. So, mm -hmm. you know, if he's a man of his word, then hopefully I'll be home to see my girl tonight. Wow. So, how long have you been using meth for now? Um, I was with my girlfriend when I was 15. Her stepfather cooked, and um, uh -huh. I kind of fell into it like that. And and I just off and on. I quit when I was 18 when I went to college. Right. Started again when I was 21. Quit when I was 23. My mom died. Then and so I started, and and now I don't use it hardly that much. <laughs> but I was high, yeah. I admit, you know, to where I've done it and do it, but no, there's no, she said, we can't have a family like that, right. and I want to do better for me, you know? <laughs> and she doesn't use it, right? No, she does not use it. She, no, she okay. does not use it whatsoever. So knowing that, you know, you guys are going to get married and you're going to start a We're family. We're going to move up to Bellevue. I mean, I, I work, I've always worked my whole life. So you're going to get out the meth? Look at my record. I don't steal. I don't do nothing. Yes, I am. You are? Okay. Yes. What's it going to take for you to stop? Because it seems, um, it seems like girl. You're, I mean, you know, you me looking happy, me wanting to do it, nothing else. It sucks. It's, this is horrible. Well, you know what meth does to you after a while, right? Yes, sir, I do, and I don't use mm -hmm. meth regularly okay. at all. Now, let's get back to the point. It was my girlfriend's proposal, and I don't, man. It's horrible. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Sign here for all your property. You get that when you get out, okay? I can get out? Or what? is this something to keep me quiet and think that, you know? <laughs> um, it's a parole detainer, so typically oh. they'll keep you in jail. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to sign it. That's fine. <laughs> right over here, sir. Right over here. You that, man. <laughs> That's why you keep saying I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I said I okay. can't handle the truth. You just say it. There you go. Straight down, straight up. Four alpha. Yes. <laughs> okay. Hey, Dennis. Grab your stuff. Come on, Dennis. Grab all your stuff. Come on down this way. <laughs> Do you want to go ahead and put him in the side room, or do you no, want to I, keep I, I, him out? I'm going to put you in a side Please. cell just for a little while. You, you, you're bouncing up. On my word, okay? Give me a chance then. No, you go, in the, you go in the cell and you baby your house yourself for a little while, and then we'll let you out later, okay? But man, you're, you're bouncing. I don't. I'm worse by myself, man. Please, I will not. I will sit there I'll, by myself and be quiet. Please. I'll leave the curtain off the window. Okay, come on now. Well, every time I'll be here until I can get a hold of my girl, I wonder what she's thinking. You know, when you're in here, you're alone. There's nobody else. This is bouncing off the wall part. Okay. <laughs> He'll be like this for a while. When people are high on meth, it's something that lasts for hours and hours. So. And it looks like he's kind of unstable, too, with, you know, proposing his girlfriend. So we'll have to keep an eye on him in here. Hopefully he'll be OK. Coming to work and make sure that I put on my officer's persona, I guess is, is maybe what we can call it, so that I can deal with these inmates and these people who are highly intoxicated under the influence of different drugs and very combative to us. Your senses are heightened and you have to be ready for anything. What did you get arrested for again? I got arrested for a domestic. I'm the one with the black eye, claw marks all over me. And I'm the one in jail. Is she here too or no? No, hell no. Well, I'm in jail for a crime I didn't commit. So he's a little bit uh, mad at the world. He was mad when he came in, and he's probably going to continue to be mad. He might not make it through the rest of our process out here. We're too busy out here tonight to have to deal with people's attitudes like that. So we'll give him a couple more minutes to see how he is. I'm just saying, lose right the attitude wrong, while you're in Right here. or wrong, you know. I mean, we can freaking we can bounce around all over the political aspect of things. But you, know. you won't be doing that by yourself and being all way so chill, homie. You still gotta go back to where we at. Chill. Just don't you tell me what. Do you wanna stay here and go through the process? So I'm supposed to be happy. And now I gotta listen to this clown. Tell me to shut up. So 
What brought you to jail tonight, man? I don't know. The old lady calls the cops and says I hit her. So is she a, is she a pretty big girl? She looks like you got a pretty good black eye. Yeah, she's a big girl. Hey, can I say something? The apology, I know we, we cool. Uh, I'm in here for domestic violence, too, but I'm in here because my girl thought I was going to leave her. My girl came out with three knives. I'm, she don't understand it, how much I love her. Oh, okay. She think I was going to cheat on her, but I wasn't. She came at but you with three knives? Three knives, man. That white grew a heart on me. <laughs> I, I done turned her into a monster, man. Look at my hair. Did she do that? Yes. So let's not us fight against each other, dog. All right, bro. All right? I got you, man. All right. It's I all mean, good, I'm in brother. the same situation. Why? You ain't no more beater or child molester. I know I ain't. You. I know I ain't. All right, then. Hell uh, no. Right now, we in jail together, no, so I, I like. Even touch my woman. My, I right. got my ass beat by the woman <laughs> because I let her kick my butt. I ain't your name on her face. Nope. You look like you got a black eye, though. I she do see no that little black eye. I got a black eye. Like how you came in jail and made a new friend. That's pretty cool. That whatever, man. I don't make no friends, bro. So you apologize? I apologize. Thanks, dog. I apologize. Thank you. So, so you've only been in here, you, too, you said she's done this to you before. Yeah, Please. and because she lied, I'm the one sitting here facing two years in prison. And you're going to continue to stay? ring on you? Yeah, I love her. Even though she'd send you to prison for two years? Love has no bounds, huh? No bounds. Can I use the restroom, please? Yeah, go You may. Right. Knock, make sure nobody's in there. Hey, can you say my seat? Hey, Dwayne. He's only been in here a couple of times, and all of a sudden, in 2008, he came in about 10 times. So something's got to trigger that. So maybe we can figure that out and see what we can do to help him out. Are you going to be able to cooperate with my officers when we take you out of the vehicle? Got to go through the booking process? Yeah, man. Come on, just let me out, and I'll be gone on my way. You done banging your hand? Yeah, you done spitting? Way. As long as nobody touches me. Well, we're going to be touching you, sir. So sorry. Okay. Don't put him in the chair. Start the camera. No, we ought to kill it. Yeah, come on. What's he being charged with tonight? Uh, burglary and conspiracy to commit animal cruelty. Why you, why you check, check on me up like that? Like I'm a violent person. How you doing? He was unwilling to restrain his animals when Metro got there. He was combative with them. Once he was placed in the patrol vehicle, started hitting his head on the door and the cage of the vehicle. He was spitting, so they put the spit mask on him. He said he would cooperate as long as no one touched him. Well, obviously that's not going to happen. So we went ahead and placed him in the restraint chair so that we can see uh, how well he's going to be able to behave. I'm going to lift up your spit mask to take a look at your cut, okay? No, please don't touch me. I'm not... It's just not a problem. Don't, 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 don't touch me. I don't care. I'm ready to die. I'm so you're using this. medical treatment? Ma'am, I, I, I just want to see whether or not care. you have I do not care. any need for stitches. I don't care. So you're not going to let me know that you cut? Possibly we've been drinking. The pressing officer uh, also told us that, that he was making comments that uh, they should just go ahead and take him out to the desert and kill him. So he might also be a uh, suicide risk. Uh, we'll go ahead and leave him in the restraint chair now, observing, see how he does. Oh. There you go. There you go. There you go. Why don't you just put a gun to my head and shoot me? What are you in jail for? What am I in jail for? Yeah. So what are you in jail everybody for? Everybody wants to start fighting with me, man. Come on. What are you in jail Even for? Even cops. What are you in jail for? My, my, my violent. Your violent what? My violent temper. So would you hit somebody? Somebody that was getting stupid with me. No, I thought your uh, I thought your charges had something to do with animal cruelty. No, animal cruelty. I got I got animals, man. I got dogs. How many dogs you got? I got I got two pits and a chihuahua, man. And you call my wife, dog. I'll make you I'll make you a better deal. You want to call your wife yourself? Okay. First step's gonna be okay. I want to go home. I want to go home to my kids. You're gonna look at your head real quick. It's medical, all right? You're not gonna spit, right? I ain't spit nothing, man. Right. You guys busted me already. I man. didn't bust you, man. You guys are really busting me. It's all good. So just look at your head, okay? Oh, they got blood everywhere. Hey, can you get me out here? <laughs>
Can I get no, you out of here? I'm gonna go home. I'm the last person to talk to you. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna make sure that you're in place, okay? All right, stay quiet. I'll have Psych come over and talk to you, and we'll figure out where we're gonna house you. If you behave, I'll leave you like this. If you don't, you gonna start acting up again? This goes back on you, and your hands go back, and they go back behind your back. I'd rather be shot or stabbed and have that on my face because I feel like I'm suffocating, just suffocating you, man. He's got to calm down. Just be quiet, I'll be back in 15 minutes. Gonna come talk to our code five that we put under two C. He's had some time to relax and hopefully sleep off the uh, intoxication or alcohol that he's had. So we'll see what kind of was going on with him and his story and what was happening. Hey, can you sit up again for me? Just wanted to chat with you for a few minutes, see what happened out there. Sounded like you had a little bit of drama out there on the street with the police and yeah. what was going on. So what happened out there? I don't I just depended on myself, man. You know what I'm saying? Well, you were pretty erratic. Were, had you been drinking tonight? Huh? Were you? I had about a six pack of Corona. That was it. Six pack of Corona? Yeah. Did, you, did you do anything else? Any other kind of drugs or anything? Because you were pretty hopped up no, when you I came had in. Two shots of um, Goldschlager. Okay. A little Goldschlager, a couple of beers. All right, you're going to have a psych nurse come in and talk to you again, and you'll be able to go through the system the way, way you're supposed to, okay? Try to have a good rest of your time here. Somebody with uh, too much alcohol in their system and brought him up here to isolation so he can sleep it off, and he's obviously been able to do that, so he'll be able to finish out this process. I'm sure he'll get cleared here when the psych is able to talk to him in the morning, and he'll be able to get out of this area and into the general population. And the doors open up and they leave me outside And they hand me my clothes and the key to my ride Now the night hits my face and it brings me to life Oh Lord, now I'm out that jail tonight Another night in my street, another night in my hair Now I'm kicking and tripping without the cops on my chair Now my hands on the wheel and my fingers grew tight I'm gonna go home to my family tonight I've been thinking about my home, I've been thinking about my kids I don't wanna be alone, I gotta get up And the doors open up and they leave me outside I'm gonna go home to my family tonight I've been thinking about my home, I've been thinking about my needs I don't wanna 